Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about naming fractions greater than one whole on our number line. But today, we're not going to label every single point on our number line. We're only going to label certain fractions on our number line. Okay? So our learning goal for today says, I can place multiple fractions on a number line. So that means some, maybe just not all today. So the materials that you need for this lesson are just your dry erase board. So make sure you grab that before we get started. All right, so we're gonna draw a number line with endpoints of one and zero. I'm sorry, one and four. <laughs> we're gonna partition each hole into thirds and label all of the fractions from one to four. Okay, so this is what we did in our previous lesson. Pause the video. Draw your number line with endpoints between one and four. You need to label those missing holes, partition into thirds, and then label those fractions. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here I'm gonna label my missing holes. So I have one, two, three, and then I have four. Now I'm going to split each hole into thirds. So between one and two, I now have thirds. Between th two and three, I now have thirds. And between three and four, I now have thirds. Then I can label my fractions. So one is the same as three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds, 10 thirds, 11 thirds, and 12 thirds. Remember when you get to those whole number fractions, it's a great place to stop and check to make sure you're on track with your labeling. So for two, um, six divided by three equals two. And then if I go to three, nine divided by three does equal three. And then for four, 12 divided by three does equal four. So that's how you can check yourself, okay? All right, so this is a good review of our previous lesson. After you labeled your whole numbers, what did you think about to place your fractions? So what are some things that you thought about before you placed your fractions on there? And split them up. So you had to even spacing to make those thirds, right? You can't say like a third is like right close to the one and then have this big gap in between. You want them to be all about the same. And then we wrote the fractions in order starting at one, right? And then we started with three thirds because that represents one whole. All right, so what do all the fractions have in common? So think about those fractions, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, and so on. What do they have in common? What's the same about all of those fractions? Oh, well, one thing is all the fractions are thirds, right? They're all split into three parts. They're all equal or greater than one whole. That's true. The number of thirds that name the whole count by threes. Hmm, so what do I mean by that? So like one equals three thirds, two equals six thirds, three equals nine thirds, and then four equals 12 thirds, right? So they're counting by threes each time to get those holes. Oh, that's another interesting thing. Okay, so those are just some of the things those fractions have in common. Let's draw a number line with end points one and four. So let's look at these fractions. What do you notice about these fractions? So we have two halves, five halves, seven halves, and eight halves. What do you notice about those? Ah, so they're all halves, right? They're all equal or greater, equal to or greater than one. And they're in order, but some of them are missing. So that's what we're really going to get into today's lesson is we're going to be labeling these fractions on the number line, but you're not going to have to label every single fraction. You're just going to have to label these fractions. OK, 
Okay. All right, so let's place these, fra these fractions on the number line. So we need to label those missing holes first. So we have two and then three. Okay, now it's not telling me to say split these, partition these fractions, these whole numbers into intervals of three or into thirds. But I can look at my fraction and see that the bottom number is telling me how many equal parts there are. So two, so I'm splitting each one of these holes into halves. Okay, so split each one in half. Now I can label my number line or my fractions on the number line. So when I start this, I'm gonna kind of pretend like this dot is my finger and I'm gonna move my finger across this number line and say the fractions as I point to them. Now, if I don't have one of those fractions listed at the top, I don't have to write it on my number line. Okay, so we know that one whole is two halves. So that's one of the fractions that are up there. So I'm gonna label that on my number line. I'm gonna cross it off so I don't forget that I did that one. And now I'm gonna keep on counting. So I'm at two halves, three halves, oh, that's not up there, four halves, five halves, oh, five halves is up there. So I'm gonna write that one down and then I'm gonna cross it off and then I'm gonna keep going. Six halves, seven halves, oh, oh, that's up there too. Okay, let's write that one on there. Seven halves, cross it off and then keep going. Eight halves, oh, that one's up there too. So I'm gonna write that on there. So cross it off so you don't forget. That's one tip that I'll give you is make sure you're crossing off those fractions that are listed for you as you're filling them in. Okay, so notice here we have our number line, but we don't have all of the parts labeled. We don't have three halves, we don't have four halves, and we don't have six halves. And that's okay, but it's important to still partition those holes into halves so you know where you're labeling those fractions. Okay, all right, so let's look at another one. Draw a number line with the endpoints one and four. Look at these fractions. Four thirds, six thirds, eight thirds, and 11 thirds. What do you notice about these fractions? Yeah, so they're all thirds, right? They're all equal to or greater than one, just like our last example. And they're in order, but again, some of them are missing. So we're only gonna have to label these ones on our number line. So place these fractions on the number line. Same ones we just saw. You're gonna pause the video. Think about when you look at these fractions, friends, what do you have to divide each hole into? Yeah, thirds, right? Okay, so label your whole numbers first. So we only have one and four, so you're missing a couple in there. Then split those holes into thirds and then label those fractions, only the ones that are there. Remember to cross off the ones as you label them so you don't forget or accidentally not label one of them. Okay, so pause the video, label those fractions, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So I'm gonna label my holes that I'm missing. So that's two, three, and then four is already there. I'm splitting each hole into thirds. So between one and two, I'm gonna split that into thirds. Now between two and three, we'll split into thirds. And between three and four, I will also split into thirds. Now I'm ready to label my fractions on the number line. So I'm looking for four thirds as my first fraction. Okay, so here's three thirds, because that's one. Four thirds would be next. Oh, I gotta label that one and then cross it off. Okay, then keep on counting along my number line. So I have five thirds, six thirds. Oh, that one's up there. Okay, let's label it. Six thirds. Now we go seven thirds, eight thirds. Oh, that's another one. Okay, I gotta label it. Eight thirds, cross it off. Nine thirds, 10 thirds, 11 thirds. Oh, label that one and then cross it off. And then I have 12 thirds. Okay, so did you label your fractions just like mine? 
Okay, awesome. If not, go ahead and rewind the video just a little bit so you can see how I counted and why I labeled each one where I did. Okay. All right, so we're going to draw the number line with the endpoints of 2 and 5 this time. And then we're going to place these fractions on the number line. So what's that fractional unit that I'm dividing and partitioning these holes into? Yeah, it's fifths, right? Because each one of those fractions is fifths. Now, before you start, you need to go through and label those missing holes. You only have 2 and 5 right now. Label those missing holes, partition each part into five equal parts, and then label your fractions. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so I'm going to label my holes. I have two, now three, four, and five is already labeled. Okay, so I'm going to split each one into fifths. Now remember, it's a little bit trickier sometimes when you get to have larger um, or more things that you're going to partition. So when you do that, just do the best you can of getting fifths. Okay, so here's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, and now I have my fifth. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing for between three and four, and the same thing between four and five. Okay, now I have my fractions, um, my number line partitioned, so I can add on my fractions and label those fractions. Okay. All right, so we're going to start here at 2. 2 is the same as 10 fifths. I'm going to label that one because that's the first fraction. Cross it off, and then let's count on. So 10 fifths, 11 fifths, 12 fifths, 13 fifths, 14 fifths. Oh, oh, step. Okay, 14 fifths goes right there. Cross it off. Keep on going. 15 fifths, 16 fifths, 17 fifths, 18 fifths. Oh, that's another one. Okay, there's 18 fifths. Cross it off. 19 fifths, 20 fifths, 21 fifths. Oh, that's one too. Label it and cross it off. Okay. All right. So sorry, friends. You can actually stop there. You don't have to label the rest of them because those are all the ones that you were asked to place on the number line. Okay, so bravo. You guys did a wonderful job placing multiple fractions on the number line. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>